Hey everybody, Dan Holston here, helping your business take flight. Got a question for you. Are you attracting all of the best clients, the ones that are profitable, that you really enjoy working with, that are easy to deal with? Are you attracting as many of those as you would like? If not, stick around. I'm gonna share a strategy with you on this week's video to help you do just that. Okay, so this week we're talking about marketing and specifically how to differentiate yourself from your competitors and to attract in the clients that you really love to serve and that are really profitable for you. And the answer to how to do that is to have a niche. So what is a niche? A niche is where the people in that group, that, that, that list of prospects, they see you as the default expert and go-to person or firm for the challenge that they have. And so what we have to do is in order to be seen as the expert or to own that niche is to be very specific in our marketing and not generic like perhaps our, cus or our, um, our competitors are. We need to be seen as speaking the language of the prospects we want to serve and understanding the challenges that they, that, they, that they have and in the language that they would use to describe those challenges. So let's say, for example, uh, you're an IT managed services firm and you really enjoy working with manufacturers. You have some expertise there and you're either a great customers for you, great fit, but you don't have as many as you would like. Is it possible that your marketing is not speaking to that niche you know, speaking to the unique challenges of a manufacturer as it pertains to their IT. So if you're to, your marketing says something like, we're a great IT firm, we're responsive with friendly technicians, that's great, but that may not resonate with the manufacturing firm. You may need to touch on their key challenges. So for instance, if you were to say, we're an IT firm that specializes in manufacturers. We can link your remote offices. We can make sure that production is talking to the back office so that you can make decisions in real time about your production inventory turns and get more product out the door. It's a little bit more specific to the challenges of a manufacturer. So that's just one example. So in your business, who are the clients that you would love to serve, who are profitable, easy to work with, um, you enjoy working with them, and are you speaking their language? Can you articulate their pain points the way that they would? Can you speak their language? Your marketing needs to come across so that when they hear you, see your marketing, see your website, that they go, oh, these guys get it. Yeah, they, they understand our challenge and they're gonna be much more likely to pick up the phone or to communicate with you and engage than your competitor that is just generic and doesn't address the, the pain points that that prospect in that industry has. So that's it for this week. So are you being specific about the challenges you can solve for your client? Are you using their language? Do they see you as the expert? And another little tip just to wrap this up, you don't have to choose just one niche. But in the marketing that you have for each of the different niches that you want to serve, you need to be specific in their type of language and their challenges. So that's it for this week. We'll catch you next time. Happy niching.